you want to be a Blender 3D professional, but tell me if this has ever happened to you. You're working on a project, following along with the tutorial, you get about halfway through and suddenly you make a mistake, then the project just feels like it kind of fell apart and you feel like you failed. I used to do that all the time and I always wish that I kind of knew the order to learn things in. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Using all free resources here on YouTube, I'm going to give you kind of a curriculum that you can follow on YouTube that will make you proficient in Blender at the end of about 30 days, depending on how much time you put in each day to learn. Now, first things first, and this isn't the most exciting thing, but you need to learn how to use the interface of Blender. And by far the most comprehensive video series I have found on this comes from CG Cookie and doing the Blender Basics and Blender 3.0. Now I know 3.0 is an older version, but everything in this series still remains true to the current version of Blender. And you can see here that they're going to cover things like navigating the 3D view, selecting objects, pivots, visibility, and they just deep dive into each of these sections, really giving you a great overview of all the features of Blender. By the way, if you like the flames on the thumbnail, you can actually get that as part of my asset pack, which is available now and also has a free sample pack with some assets as well. Currently, I'm running a sale. See the description for more details. Now, right after you've kind of gotten familiar with the interface, the best place I'd recommend going is the Blender Donut Tutorial by Blender Guru. Now, there's a good chance if you've been part of the Blender community for any amount of time, you're probably already familiar with this course. It's almost a rite of passage to join the Blender community. I say that as a joke, but it is an incredible little short course on YouTube for free by Blender Guru, the largest YouTube channel for Blender. And he does the modeling, the texture, the lighting using particles. It's just really a great project to really kind of help carry you through from a blank canvas to your first final render. Highly recommend this as your second video course to go through. Now, next up is a video from yours truly, and this is the secret to Disney textures in Blender 3D, a material deep dive. In this video, we dive through this node here, the principal BSDF node, and all the various elements on it and what they do. And the reason that matters is that all of your materials are most likely going to go through that principal node. That's the most common node to use. So this is kind of a great introduction just to how materials in 3D work in general. Now, next up is a very short tutorial from Ducky3D, an incredible channel if you want to deep dive more into motion graphics. But this particular tutorial shows you how to create a wood material in Blender, and it does it all through procedural nodes and procedural systems, meaning that you are making it all from nodes within Blender rather than importing image textures. So this is kind of like a great simple introduction to how you can really think about starting to build your own materials in Blender just through the procedural nodes. Next up is one of my videos, which is Blender Beginner Texture Painting Tutorial, just getting started. And what this does is walk you through kind of the texture painting process while creating this little character in the process. And the point of this tutorial is really to walk you through all the basics of texture painting. Now they cover those some a bit in previous videos, but the point of this tutorial is to kind of help you make a fun little character along the way and teach you how to apply some of those elements. Now, Daniel Craft has some other great videos as well. This is the only one I'm putting on this list, but all 80 plus Blender material nodes explained in under 30 minutes. What it does is just go through all the nodes that we have access to within the material panel and explain what each one does with examples. Now, admittedly, this is maybe a bit advanced if you're just getting into Blender, but just having an idea of what all the different nodes do, even if you're not able to utilize them all, will help them be less intimidating. This is just a great video that just kind of rapid fires through every node and what they do. Now, Flipped Normals covers a lot of software on their channel, but they also cover Blender. And they have this great video, Learn to Sculpt in Blender Quick Start Guide. And what this is, is just a deep dive into the sculpting features. Now, in the CG Cookie one, they kind of do a basic overview, but in this one, they go through every single brush in every single setting. And then some of the more complicated things like face sets. And just explain, what it is because sculpting is kind of an entire piece of software. And what I like about Flip Normals is that they also do ZBrush tutorials and they have a lot of experience with sculpting kind of in the industry as people do on their channel. So their insights into sculpting in Blender are incredibly useful. And this is just a great overview video of all the features. It's a bit long, but it kind of needs to be with how deep sculpting is in Blender. Now, I think the most exciting way to learn is by completing projects. So even though the last sculpting video 
probably would cover more than this video. In this video, you actually go through the process of creating a head sculpt by the end. So I think it's great to learn the interface, but then to take that interface and learn how to apply it. And I'm sorry if I pronounced their name wrong, but I believe it's Keelan John. And they have this great tutorial here on how to sculpt the stylized head. And as you see in the opening with a lot of their artwork, they themselves are a talented sculpting artist. Great little short video to kind of walk you through a project and getting comfortable with sculpting. Now this video is a long video because it's essentially an entire course that's been uploaded by the creator to YouTube. So this is Blender Geometry Nodes Level 1 Full Course by CG Matter. And in this video, CG Matter just walks through a lot of the nodes, a lot of the setup, getting you comfortable with how geometry nodes works and even helping you kind of create some elements. By the end, you're creating a little snowman character using just geometry nodes. And in this video, CG Matter really kind of breaks down a lot of the elements of geometry nodes. Now, geometry nodes itself is more of an advanced feature. You're probably not going to tackle that in just 30 days, but this serves as a great introduction. Now, as I mentioned before, I think the best way to learn when you're doing 3D software is to learn by kind of creating a project. And in this video, I'll walk you through how to create this grass system using geometry nodes. And what it serves as is a good example of how to use geometry nodes with instancing on points and how to control those points. Now, as I said, geometry nodes is complicated, but if you learn anything, learning how to do instancing on points is going to be the most useful feature to you. And in this video, Blender 3.0, Beginner Environments and Geometry Nodes, that's exactly what we walk through. Now, CG Geek is the other massive Blender channel, and he does a lot of edutainment with like mixing education into entertainment type videos. And in this video, Blender 2.8 tutorial, rig any character for animation in 10 minutes. He does just a great oversight of how to kind of build a very basic character rig and explaining it along the way. So definitely recommend this as your first video to introduce you to rigging. Now, next up, you're going to be looking to start utilizing these skills into some slightly more advanced projects. Now, I have a free course here I put on YouTube, which is kind of just a free character creation and rigging course. We start from the default cube and we work our way up to animating it in a walk cycle. Now, these videos are all about 13 to 15 minutes long. And you can see here that I will walk you through the entire process of modeling, texturing, rigging, and animating this little box character here. And this is kind of a great way to begin starting to utilize all the skills that you're learning and putting them into practice with an actual project. So I contemplated whether putting Deco's courses on this video. On one hand, I think they might be the best courses on YouTube for free in regards to Blender 3D. However, they are a tiny bit more advanced, but I think that if you've done everything up until this point, you should feel pretty comfortable with them. This is a clip here from Deco short film. If you're into this type of animation, less little short stylized characters like mine and more full humanoid characters and creatures, then he has a lot of great videos on how to create this type of content. So first up, he has the incredible poly modeling characters in Blender playlist, which is 10 videos long. And it goes through the entire process of creating a character model in Blender that will be animation friendly and it avoids sculpting. So you don't have to sculpt and retopologize. Rather, it's just how to model that character from scratch, making it really kind of more appealing for beginner users. After that, he also has a great rigging tutorial. Rigging is extremely complex in Blender, so I know I have multiple rigging videos on here, but that's because it's a lot to learn. So he has a great little rigging series here where he kind of walks you through some of the basics in a short amount of time. And these are kind of great resources as well. Then he has a full playlist dedicated to character rigging. Now this one isn't structured like a course as much, but there's a lot of great videos in there that you can kind of pick and choose to kind of like figure out what you want for more advanced elements of your characters. And then lastly, he has a great structured seven video course on how to texture characters stylized. And this will kind of walk through the UV unwrapping process of a full humanoid character, how to get those UVs clean, and then what kind of texturing principles work when applying to full size humanoid characters. So if you're interested in humanoid character animations at all, Definitely recommend these videos, but save them here for the end 
as they are a tiny bit more intermediate than some of the others. Now, lighting is crucial for your final render. I see so many people create amazing scenes, amazing sets, amazing models, textures, and everything, and then they light it poorly, and the final result doesn't look good. And that's what Blender Guru tackles in this series. He has this entire lighting course, which is seven videos long, and he goes through all the elements of lights, not just how they work in Blender, but also just good tips for lighting and how to light your scenes in general and what different formats of lighting are and the purpose of lighting. So definitely recommend this to kind of tackle lighting. And this will kind of be on your way out after you've created your models and textures and you're ready to start sharing the final results. And lastly, here is a video from me. And in this video, I go through every way to speed up cycles. Some of these will save you up to a thousand percent, which are simple things like denoising. But in this video, I go through just tons of different ways that you can optimize your scenes to render faster. There's a lot of beginner mistakes that I was making that were slowing down my scenes. And in this video, I try and tackle a lot of those things so that you can work faster and render faster and hopefully get to the results you want a whole lot quicker.